In this tutorial, I want to speak a little bit about WordPress, what it is, and give you a quick overview of the dashboard area. WordPress is essentially online software. In some circles, it's called a content management system. Um, and what that really means is that you can log on online and edit and create new pages for your website. So you can create new pages, maintain your site, upload photos, that type of thing. What we're looking at right now is the back end of WordPress, what we call the dashboard. And uh, let me just get, give you a quick overview of some of the functions you can do within the dashboard area. Over here to the left are the main um, function links to, to be able to cre create new pages and maintain your site and your theme look, add users, things like that. So let's go through here. Um, posts, WordPress is well known as blog software. Um, so the post section here is where you can edit your blog posts, add new blog posts, and then also edit and maintain your tags and categories. These two functions are hot with bloggers. Um, bloggers want um, you know, their posts categorized in certain sections um, uh, just to organize their content a little bit better. The sec second section here is uh, the media section where you can add, upload new um, media content like um, files, images, uh, PDFs, things like that. The link section you may not use too much, but that's where you can add links to a, um, a section where you want to reference other outside sites besides your own. Um, the pages section here is probably one of the biggest parts of WordPress and being able to use it to maintain your site. Um, pages, there's two different types of content basically in WordPress. Posts, which are chronological blog type content, and pages. Now, they, once you click these, they still look the same a, as the other, but they do different, different um, things for you. Pages are more for static content, like your about page or your contact page. Posts is more like, um, you know, your link posts for this week or what you did on your ski trip or things like that. Um, but anyway, pages, once you click these add new, they both essentially look the same here, where you write a headline and then you write your copy. We'll talk more about these in other tutorials. Um, the comments section here is, um, again, WordPress is a primarily a blog software, but can be used as a robust um, content management system to maintain websites. The comments section here um, allows you to um, basically moderate the comments you get on your blog post where you can come in here and if you see something spam or you want to delete something you can do that in this section. Um, the next section is the appearance tab and this is where um, your theme or your web template resides. Um, now you won't want to change this uh, if you've got a custom template or a theme but this is where it sets the themes that are available in WordPress. The widgets is uh, something we'll talk about in later tutorials, but allows you to add um, content to your sidebars and your feature areas. The, the text, uh, the theme editor here allows you to go in and tweak the code that is associated with your template, your theme, and all the files here. Um, we, we do not suggest that you go in if you don't have any knowledge about CSS or HTML coding that you mess with this area. Um, the, the next section is plugins. Plugins um, basically add um, functionality to the core WordPress software, the bells and whistles. And depending on what your site has, you, you may have different sites activated in this area. Um, users is basically where you can add people to uh, your WordPress software where if you want someone else to maintain or help you maintain your site or your blog, you would add those users here. Tools are uh, kind of self-explanatory, but if you need to export or you want to back up your blog and the posts and pages that you have, you can click this e export feature. Um, settings here does some other miscellaneous things that you can go through and see, and they're um, pretty much self-explanatory. So that's just a quick overview of WordPress and what it does.